All right, so we've got this tuned down to almost four to one, three to one, somewhere around there. Let me turn this off. And so we've done the solder pads. Okay. Let's see here. If I can put this where you guys can see it. KG7HVR, test one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, it's really that stupid. So, you need to open up your radio, remove the tuner, and clean the varnish off the back of the solder pads on the opposite side where the screws go through, because they tinned the board and then covered it with varnish and so what my problem was was on this radio I couldn't get it to work with the tuner on 60 meters and then occasionally it would do something weird on 40 and what it would do is I'd tune it and it would look like it was tuned and as soon as it keyed up it would give me a high SWR so it's a really 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 goofy problem that um uh, they got here so anyway if you're having problems with 20 40 or 60 meters on this particular radio right here where the tuner refuses to work you need to get inside the radio remove the bottom cover remove the metal cover pull the tuner board out you're gonna have to wiggle it back and forth because it's glued in with these funky uh, rubber like uh, shock absorbers they're like really thick rubber strips. This radio is actually very well made inside. Um, it's shielded around the uh, USB card, unlike the 7300. It's just uh, um, made much nicer. But So anyways, yes, if you're having a problem with the tuner, by all means, get in there and check that out. Even though um, the screws um, have you know, conductivity on the top side of the board, apparently, uh, you know... It's, it's got to do with the varnish on the back of the board. And I've seen several people say the same thing, and I thought there's no way it could be, you know, I can't get this lucky. Well, I did. So um, I hope uh, somebody else that's having problems with this sees this video. This is the solution. Thank you for watching.